to film a day in the life. Right now, it's lunchtime. I am making, I'm gonna make cereal <laughs> and my favorite peach tea. So freaking good. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, got a bunch of dishes that I need to address. And I wanted to decorate real quick too before I go back to work. So, um, I showed this in a past video, but I have a shower curtain and bath mat thing to set up. Um, so, you know, just, I'm just home for a few minutes, like 30 minutes. I'm gonna eat and watch some videos. I've actually been checking out a lot of um, vlog videos by native vloggers, cause um, I wanna see what other people are making and I wanna see what other people or how, I guess, our native community is reacting to those videos. So I guess it's kind of like research. But honestly, I haven't really found anything that I really like. Um, I guess I like the music some people are using and I like how, I don't know. A lot of people seem to be living off the res. So I don't know. I guess I don't really like identify <laughs> I don't know it's weird but yeah um so anyways I just wanted to like just kind of share little snippets of my days they're super like chill and boring just kidding but here's my outfit of the day I'm wearing my vest I have a button up a white button up with like a camisole underneath and of course my Lerma necklace gotta represent a <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna eat I'll, I'll post more stuff as it comes up but I mean basically I'm just working on a fundraising report and preparing for next month's or next week's fundraising committee meeting where I'm gonna propose a few new things for 2023 so yeah all right I'll check back in later okay everyone so the bathroom is set up this is the kid slash guest bathroom. Um, I did a quick wipe down of the toilet, the sink, put out that cute little gingerbread man, clean towels, uh, to get the garbage. I didn't know, but that thing right there actually lights up. Um, but I don't have time to play with that, so I'm going to head out. Um, I'm going to head back to the office. Dang, I didn't get a chance to do the dishes, but I organized them, wiped down the sink, put away the clean dishes, wiped down the stove, started a load of laundry, got out of the trash. So I'm gonna head back to work now. Um, almost done with my cereal. My tea is now, it's not even hot anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I guess the last thing I can do is probably just send a note to the kids because I have a, a meeting tonight rock so I'll just do let's see wash dishes ashwander right how you say it I know some people say ashwander or ashwander so yeah okay that's it I'm gonna head back to work now We saw this guy cruising around earlier. He's got he's his, showing off. He's got his freak flags flying. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the Starbucks and Bashes. We got our cranberry bliss bar. This is your cup. Here it is. We got our holiday cup. I can't. You dabbed. Okay, so this is a continuation of the day of my life. I am now in Windrock, Arizona, and we just had dinner at Navajo Inn. Right? Dinner restaurant. Oh, dinner like restaurant. It was really good. And um, we got our <gasps> coffee. We're going to head over to the venue now. But I just wanted to kind of update everyone. Why? I don't know. It's called a transition. Okay. Go on that. <laughs> Guess where we're at. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
Hey Bahirat,
talking to Michael about this. One for corn, one for beans, one for peanuts. <laughs> Where's the one for tobacco? Black blue. I wish it demonstrate how to walk on water. <laughs> my, that's funnier. <laughs> so Hatashi Denny here was bestowed an honorary doctorate by Jenna College last year. So he has the, the hood, he has the um Hayos class, no one to use no whole suit and chocolate. See, he is the expert in the room. Oh, and put the corn stuff right here. Put lightning away on this side. Uh, the yellow right here, and then the green corn stuff so be in, inside. With the birds right here. Dang. So, if there's any beaters out there, eh, that want to contribute. Who wants to volunteer? <laughs> i 
one test stands in the test of time and success is you continue to move forward and you keep trying. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you deliver for yourself and your family and your community. So continue to move on. to congratulate our new graduates, our future leaders of the Navajo Nation, our future academics of the Navajo Nation. So congratulations to all the graduates. We're very proud of you. You worked hard. It's not easy getting a degree or a certificate. It takes a lot of commitment. So from the Lermas, we are gonna cheers. Starbucks refreshers to you, eh? <laughs> Hey girls, good luck. We're here rooting for you. Hi. <laughs>
everyone. It's the end of the day. I am in the middle of homework. I have an assignment. I have my final due tonight. And so I am two thirds of the way done. I submitted my case analysis, my executive summary, and now I have to do three recordings. And I did one of them and it's not freaking loading. So <laughs> I'm like, great, and I have till midnight, but still, like, when the internet's acting up, it sucks. So, that's the res life, right? <laughs> it's one of the challenges we all face. Um, but I'm going to get that done, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and tomorrow is Bahi's fifth birthday. So, we're going to have a little... I know he said no parties, but we're just going to, like... Um, he wanted like some hot dogs and a cake and ice cream. So um, that's pretty easy. <laughs> it's like not too hard to, to pull off. So we're gonna bake him a cake and put sprinkles on it and eat it and it's gonna be yummy. So um, I know when I started this vlog out, I, uh, I started this vlog and I was like, I'm gonna do a day in the life, but you know, as the, excuse me, as the days have gone on, I'm deciding to just do like a week in the life. That way I can kind of record over a couple of days. So the plan is to record Saturday and Sunday and then kind of give you a look of like what I like work and weekends and family time. So in the other room, everyone's kind of studying. So like my daughter is the only one that doesn't have homework tonight because she got everything done. Um, now she like, she even took some of her tests this week and now she has, um, I think retakes. She doesn't need to take them, but I think they require them uh, to retake their tests and then they give them the highest score and they let them have that as far as like their benchmark. So uh, she's good. Um, my son, he had a reading assignment and a writing assignment to get done. And so he just dropped that up. And then Michael's grading. So we're all out there earlier. And um, the kids were just like talking my ear off. So I was like, hey, let's play the quiet game. And so we did. And I like was the first one to lose, which sucks. I, I yeah, I'm not good at that. And it was because my daughter tricked me. And then <laughs> we were trying to get her to talk. And she's, like, so good at it. Like, she wasn't even laughing out loud. She's, like, giggling. But, like, like with no sound. And then, <laughs> and then my son, I think, like, when he was done reading, he just wanted to talk. He couldn't, like, wait till, till 10. Because it's, like, now past 10 o'clock. And he wanted to talk to me about this article. So he just like started talking. And I was like, all right, cool. And then my daughter, she had, she like was very committed. So she waited till 10. Oh, someone's knocking. Okay, I gotta go. I will continue this tomorrow. Oh, you got running shoes? Yeah. Yay. I got some slippers. Oh, really nice. I'll show you my shoes. Cameron. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bahi. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> again, again, oh, almost, 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 this way too. Oh, come on, you can do it. Blow. Not this way now. Yay! 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 <laughs> now you're okay, on your way to number six. <laughs> now you're officially five years old. Trying to stay here? 
Don't fall off. Let's go over there. Okay, it's a time of year again. You know what it means. Snow baths. Okay, so for those of you who are not done now, you're probably like, what the heck was that, right? <laughs> That's what we call a snow bath, and they say it's done to um, boost your immunity, prepare you for winter, and help your body withstand the cold. So what you do is you go out into the snow after the second snow, and you wash your face and your skin, and you, you get that cold, cold, icy experience. You know, you kind of shock your body. Um, and it's actually really fun. It's like really, really cold. Like my kids used to cry every time I, I would roll them in the snow when they were young, but now they're, they're all toughened up. But, um, yeah, this is one thing that I've, I've engaged in, I've done since I was very young, like a little girl. And it's something I continue today. And I would like to encourage other people to do it. Uh, you don't have to film it or put it on social media like I am. Um, sometimes my example is not the best and I know the keyboard warriors are probably going to come after me and be like, you're just doing it for clout or you're just trying to show how indigenous you are or how traditional you are, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not here to like shame anybody for not doing it, but also, um, I'm not here to be shamed either. So if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, then that's your choice. However, I do recommend it because I really do believe that it does strengthen the body and prepare you for the cold months ahead. So, yeah. All right, I gotta get ready. headed to a holiday get-together at work. It's actually a glorified meeting, but they're inviting us to dress up in our holiday Christmas sweaters. We're gonna do a competition. I brought a gift, and so we're gonna do a little like silent exchange. Should be fun. So, yep, let the holiday work week begin. Gifts and look. 
party cups for the party girl and it's like a hot cocoa set. I love it. Thank you. I love it. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. Um, I got six days in, I was aiming for seven, but you know, I I don't really have anything planned for tomorrow, just work. And I really do need to focus on, you know, wrapping things up for the end of the year. Um, my fundraising committee meeting went well. My report was accepted as well as my proposals for fundraisers for next year, so I'm happy about that. Um, so it's kind of like, I'm, I'm in the, I feel very motivated, you know, I'm in the zone where I'm like, okay, let me just get the ball rolling now because, oh my gosh, when it comes to fundraising, like the sooner you begin, the better. So the more time you have to make things happen, the more likely that it's going to be successful. And I don't like to go into things feeling like I'm not prepared or that the, the team I've pulled together don't have everything they need. So I really do like to be as organized as possible. And speaking of which, when it comes to being organized, Kelsey and I have been think, like brainstorming this project that we're hoping to launch next year. And um, we had an interview yesterday. So we submitted an application to this um, this program. It's a, it's a business incubator. And we're thinking of formalizing you know, our collaboration, because right now everything we do is just for fun, right? And we're like, you know what, maybe we should do something more formal and we can actually like, like put, I guess, put some power behind our ideas. And so it is going to be related to organizing, planning, scheduling, goal setting, all that good stuff, all the stuff that me and Kelsey love to do. So, um, you know, when it comes to like bullet journaling and scheduling and planning and all that good stuff, like that's, really where we shine and so we're like how can we how can we share with others you know some of our methods and our systems that we know work that are applicable to content creators to students to you know parents to entrepreneurs right so yeah i'm excited about that so um more to come we'll share what the outcome is we're gonna we're supposed to hear back on friday so if it's a go, we'll let you know. Um, last year, was it last year? No, it was earlier this spring. We actually submitted a proposal to another organization uh, to, to try to get this thing off the ground and it wasn't accepted. And it was kind of a heartbreaker, you know, we're like, dang, like we put all this, like, we really wanted to see it go somewhere. We wanted to see it take off and it didn't. And we're both kind of bummed out. We're like, oh, well, it's okay. And then this other opportunity came up and Kelsey was like, hey, I think we should try. And I'm always the kind of person that's like, yeah, the least we can do is try, right? Um, so we did, we, we submitted an application in October and then we made it to the first round. We did our interview yesterday. And so we're gonna hear back to see if we made it to the, I think it's the final round or we might even be accepted by Friday. So I'm excited about that. Um, really great things on the horizon. And I'm also trying to mentally prepare myself like, okay, if we don't get accepted, how, what do we do? You know, like how, how do I take that news without taking it personally you know, to the heart, right? Like, how do I not be crushed by this? But you know, they say three strikes are out. And so this is only our second try. I'm willing to do it again and try again. And, and, and also, honestly, like I, I don't really know how to quit, right? Like when when I believe in something and I think it's a good idea, I'm willing to do the work to make it happen, especially if I think it's gonna be beneficial to other people. So yeah, so we'll see. Um, that's it for now. I'm gonna end it here. And uh, thank you guys for following Navajo Tea Time. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you're not already, that would be great. And you know, help get us to that next level. Um, we do have plans next year 
so uh, to grow the channel and provide some new fun content and of course do more collaborations so yeah subscribe help get us to a thousand <laughs> okay bye